going to jump right in. I'm in couples therapy for the fifth time with my husband. And literally, with all the money we've spent on therapy, we could have sailed around the world and just like fucked each other in every port. <laughs> oh, we would have included people from other cultures. Oh, and when I say port, I'm, I don't mean my asshole. I mean Barcelona. But, but it, first up, guys. First up. Just bring it in. We choose to sit in a cramped office on Pico with a woman where we just fight for the first 48 minutes about who's going to get the comfy chair, and then the last two minutes we just verbally attack the therapist. We're like, yeah, why is there only one comfy chair, bitch? I'm like Jesse from Breaking Bad. It's, yeah, and we're like, oh, and by the way, we know you were an actress before you were a therapist. We looked you up. We saw your reel. Don't do an accent. Yeah, it doesn't work. And also, don't don't play a lesbian migrant worker. Yeah, yeah. Her, her only credit was like witness. But um, <laughs> wasn't sure about you. But uh, yeah, a couple of is just too little, too late. It just uh, it's just like it's like having stage four cancer and then being like, you know what I haven't tried is a little aromatherapy. <laughs> We walk in and we're like, so we're just suffering a long, slow, silent death. And she's like, well, I have a butterscotch candle for you. Yeah, she told us one thing the other week that worked. What was that? Oh, yeah, she goes, all right, if things get heated, oh, and they do, because uh, we're both recovering alcoholics, lucky us. So we're like, we're like you do your four step, you pray. You call your sponsor, so sexy. Oh, so sexy, he's like, I wanna fuck you now. But um, yeah, so she's like, if things get heated, just just leave, just just walk out of the room, remove yourself from the situation. So that's why I'm here tonight. <laughs> I came to the ha ha. But guess what, guys? Doesn't work, he followed me. So guess what, the advice is fucking bullshit. <laughs> we have a child. Yeah, I don't want to scare you. And what's so funny is, everybody wants to help, like it takes a village and all that shit. Like, my, my parents are like, no, like, leave her with us, like, we'd love to take care of her. And I'm like, why would I ever leave my daughter with the exact same people who ruined my life? Like, no, no I wouldn't. And actually, the, the, the hardest thing about being a mom that I found out is not, like, the early wakings and like the sad, saggy skin bags for tits. This is a push up, everyone. Oh. Know what but, um, no, it's, it's alright. So, no, it's these things called mommy blogs. Do you know about this? I'll just quickly break it down. Holy shit, they're everywhere. It's, 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 it's just a blog written by a mother who fancies herself some like D the David Sedaris of Brentwood and just like dropping gems for us and fucking polluting the internet. Here's what, here's a typical one. Hey guys, had a teachable moment with Clamantha today. I, we were in Whole Foods and we ran into a homeless person and Clamantha just reached out and popped a goji berry right into his mouth. Here's mine. Hey guys, had a teachable moment. Found out my one-year-old can totally watch Breaking Bad. I just told her it was a cooking show. No big deal. My other issue, yeah, it's fine, she actually is. Sorry, just joking, everyone. Um, no, but the, but the other thing that really bugs me is there's no, like, in relatable, like, formidable female heroes in our children's literature canon, like, where, they're all these, like, the girls in our, in our, in our children's books are all these, like, passive, whimpering, simpering, they're waiting, they're sitting, they're, like, locked in a tower somewhere, in a torture basement, no, not in a torture basement, but it's like, mu it's Muppets on a tuppet, like, why is she on a tuppet? Like, why can't she be, like, putting up drywall or going rollerblading? Like, and then we have Rapunzel, so she's locked in a tower, okay? She can't get down, but the prince has to literally climb her hair out. That shit comes out at the roots. And then when he rescues her, when he finally... He doesn't set her free. He doesn't bring her a sandwich. He just fucks her. That's Rapunzel. Oh, and then we have Sleeping Beauty for a hundred years. Did someone give her a roofie? Like, Sleeping Beauty is a crime story. Like, it's not... So I've written my own children's book. It's called... I, I really am doing this. It's called Baby Lean In. 
based on Cheryl Sandberg's feminist man manifesto. Lee, thank you, the one feminist in the house. Like, thank you. And if you're not leading in, you're leading out. But, uh, so baby lean in. <laughs> Don't know what that means, it's just happened. But baby lean in is about a girl named Hannah. And every night her father's like, you have to wash the dishes, Hannah, while your brother can go out and play in the treehouse. And one day Hannah is so upset, she smashes the salad plates, goes out, plays in the treehouse, and starts preparing a TED talk on our men really necessary. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm in recovery, and I got sober in New York City, but it's so funny, like LA, AA is so different than New York, AA, it's so odd, like LA is just this like new agey cesspool of like unsupervised group therapy where everybody is like fucking cruising for a commercial agent. Like, I, I can't believe I'm still sober, honestly, with these people, but I'm not judgmental, no. Um, but no, New York, they're like, you know, New York, they're like, you're not a real alcoholic unless your liver's coming out of your ass. <laughs> so like in LA, you know, like, like basically this is what you hear in LA. Hi, my name's Meadow Running Brook, and I'm needle pointing a sexy but charged living room scene where I'm trying to manifest a Whitney spinoff that I can co-star in. <laughs> this is New York. I'm Gus, I'm a drunk. I'm just trying to manifest a subway ride where nobody takes a shit right in front of my face. So my point is, guys, keep drinking. <laughs> Thank you, I'm kidding. Keep it going for feeling.